What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing something completely unnecessary because my dumbass taking this mirror off yesterday for shits and giggles decided to drop a uh, a bit to my screwdriver set down inside the door. So the door panel's coming off today and I figured this would be a great opportunity to show you guys how to take it off and what exactly is behind here if you're not familiar with it. So for this install, we're going to be install for this removal. We're going to be needing a T20 Torx head uh, bit, just like the one that I dropped in there. Some sort of extendy tool if you don't have a long screwdriver already. And then our trusty panel popping tool, complete with microfiber inserts because luxury and and high quality and just as a little side note the other day I was working on on my car and I discovered this wonderful tool holder so my tools aren't you know rolling in the seats anymore kind of nice they thought of everything because that's you know that's specifically what that's for so let's get into removing this this door panel okay so to remove this door panel here there's gonna be three screws three count them three one up here one down here both behind this door handle and one behind this like little trap door thingy down here I just removed mine because I was feeling impatient and I you know just removed it so it's pretty easy to remove don't really need too much of a tutorial on that so go ahead and pop your door handle trim off with this little tiny slot down here if you put your fingers down here you'll feel the little recess where you can pop this off and gently but firmly pull that off god that does not sound good every time I do it like that sounds so bad but everything seems to be fine so pop those off and you will see screw number one screw number two so go ahead and unscrew those and we will be back so something to note when you're doing this is the screws that are going to be in the door here are these nice black long ones they are not to be confused with the silver one over here so when you're putting it back together just remember the small silver one goes in the silver hole and the two black ones go in the, the black door handle So, now that we've got all the uh, the screws out, it is time to begin to pop the panels off because the door handle is basically free floating right now. But before we pop the door handles completely off, we need to remove the trim right here, otherwise the door panels will not pop off. So, in order to do that, you need to know that there is a clip here, here, here here and here and then two tabs that are positioned like this that go underneath this little leather trim here so it's really important that you pop off from this side and not this side so you don't break these two tabs again positioned underneath this little leather piece back here like that so you're gonna need to pull up and that way so be careful doing this it is a bit of an annoyance in my experience, it, it always takes me an unnecessarily long amount of time to get this out. So, like I said, be careful. You can see it starting to come up a little bit. That was much easier than I thought it was gonna be. Wow, for once, something goes slightly right. For the video see you can see those little tabs I was talking about just be careful you know take care not to break those unclip this little wiring harness and you are good to pull the door trim Ooh. up off damn I think, I think that's supposed to look like that that's just a wonky looking clip so unclip the wiring harness and let's get to pulling this door off 
this little cardinal over here is being so loud. Like, what does he want? So, I just had to, to make a note of this. This is the weirdest shit I've ever seen. So, this clip here will be clipped in like this. You need to depress this little lever and pull the mad scientist switch all the way to the back to unclip this clip from that. That, that was weird, but it's really cool. I want more of these. Made things so easy. So now that you've got that out, I like to begin from over here. So just in case that, that there is any chance of damage or anything like that, it's a part where no one's really gonna see it. Not that, that we're gonna damage anything, but you never know. We might need to just like rip it off the door, which I strongly don't advise, but Kind of put your little panel poppy tool in and start to try and work it out. The one series is notoriously well put together in our door handles and they're extremely secure. So it's gonna take you a little bit. But once you start to get one panel off, you'll you'll be able to start pulling them all off. So take your time and be careful. Okay, so the first panel is popped or the first clip. I kind of just put it in up here and started maneuvering it. So in my effort to pull this side of the door away, he fell out. This video was brought to you in part by this asshole right here for being dropped in there. So, I mean from this point I don't need to take the door off anymore, but I'm going to for your guys' sake. So you just keep pulling these little pop tab clips all the way off all the way around eh, they are very very secure though like we're talking you gotta like yank these things for them to actually come off god I feel like I'm breaking the door eh, god it's the worst noise okie dokie so everything's basically off except for the top here and here we are. As you can see, there's a bunch of wiring harnesses down here. And a plane ruining my audio. I love having my audio ruined. I love it. So, as you can see, the door is now off. Be very careful of your little lock down here. You'll see there's a bunch of wiring harnesses that need to be disconnected to take the door completely off. I'm not gonna do that just because I've got what I needed, but that's the entire door take apart. Okay, so we've got her popped back on. Just give her a nice little pound all the way around just to make sure that she's completely on. Everything looks good, she's not going anywhere. Time to reconnect this wiring harness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, I see. There you go. Snap back in there. Happy as can be. Okay, so something that I think a lot of you might run into is what I'm running into where this does not want to sit flush anymore. You can see it move up and down. It's because there's a clip that we bent pulling it out. This clip right here is what was bent when we were pulling it out. So I'm just taking some needle nose pliers. I'm gonna pinch it back to how it was. I'm gonna fold it down back to how it was and try and get this to sit flush again because nobody wants tiny gaps in there. And this is going to conclude taking the door panel off and putting it back on. After bending this piece back, there's no more gap. Everything looks good. Everything's solid. No more piece stuck in the door. So if you've made it this far into the video, you know, all the way to the end, I would like to talk to you guys about the, the wrap situation going on with the car. I'm currently in the process of measuring everything out and getting all my measurements and everything 100% good before I actually order the material and start piece by piece. I think we're going to try and work the entire front end 
and work our way to the back with it so a hood is coming soon just because i think that that'll probably be one of the easiest parts then we're going to do these two panels and after i get a little bit of practice in we're going to attempt the uh the front bumper here it's not gonna lie that's pretty intimidating but the plan is that that super dark gray black accents and acid lime green and what i was doing with the mirror apart yesterday was trying to figure out exactly how i wanted to do it i want to keep this black this little black rim all the way around here is probably going to be that electric green and then the mirror cap itself is going to be black and i'm going to try and keep the nice bright green accents all the way around which means i'll probably have to change those to green but for now they're cool um as far as wheels and stuff go i'm leaning more towards ford star f14s um i love the way the apex wheels though look i might even just powder coat these black i'm not sure depending on what the money situation is at the time but for right now we're just focusing on the wrap down pipe is on back order from where i ordered it from unfortunately so that's gotta kind of be put on hold oh no damn it so if you guys enjoy these sort of random take apart and install videos hit that subscribe button because i guarantee you i'm gonna keep dropping things in crevices and having to remove a bunch of stuff all over the car from my stupidity so let me be the one to make the mistake and you reap the benefits of not having to go back and do all this yourself without any real tutorials or anything out there so like I said hit that subscribe button like the video if you enjoyed what you saw today oh god what is this why is this up a little bit oh uh-oh. Till next time, I will see you guys later.